Austin, Texas. This place here is called the Oasis, so if you're ever in Austin, it's cool to check it out. And this is your view. Why are you eating? Hello. Hi. Hello. Good. Good Pretty good view. Good. Yeah. What's going on YouTube? Happy Wednesday. First, I'd like to say, guys, I know I promised you that um, that book review. It's not going to happen this Wednesday. This <laughs> this week has been so busy for me. Yeah, can't happen this Wednesday. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going through my mind. You know, about to do this change, you know. Yeah, yeah. can't happen this weekend. But we will get back to it. But I just want to say something. You know, I came down here, you know, I said, okay, well, should we do six months living first and then, you know, get the house and things of nature, whatever, you know, try to find out good areas. And then they were saying, you know, $1,100 for rent on this, all this other kind of stuff, right? And then I, I thought for a second, I said, I can see how people get trapped in the financial thunderstorms. And what I mean by that is this, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you feel like right now that all the financial things that are going on in your life right now are just out of control? No matter what you seem to do, it just doesn't work. It just seems like everything is just out of control. And you don't know where to start. But see, this is why I say financial education is for us reading, as for us watching videos, is as for being around, and also as being around financial savvy people is the best thing you can do in your life because the only thing guys hear me on this the only thing that is making everything out of control is that your way of thinking when it comes to finance you know um, sometimes we go out a little bit too much sometimes we eat out a little bit too much sometimes we don't concentrate on the savings and we make the statements where we say you only live once you know a lot of different things. You want to buy toys. You want to buy motorcycles, ski doos, and boats, and and brand new cars, and things of this nature. All of these things, in the beginning, are causing you to have problems. And that's, see, when I read the book MJ DeMarco, great book, fast lane, got it. But before you get to the fast lane, you also need to make sure that the things that you're currently doing are the right things. Now see, when I read his book, I saw where he was coming from, but there's one thing I think that he's missing, is that you can do those things that you want to do in the fast lane, and you're only spending a small percentage of your income. Got it. But what about the people, right, who are basic right now, who are just in a situation, they can't save money, they only have $50 in their bank account, they're struggling right now, they have to get that storm together first before they can even move in the fast lane because the fast lane moving is going to take some time. You're not going to write that ebook. You're not going to create that company right away that actually starts doing things. So in order for you to get this the storm calmed down, you're going to have to think different. You're going to have to let your friends go. You're going to have to learn to do things at your home. You're going to have to learn to just be calm. You know, some people ask me, well, what would you recommend? My credit card's maxed out, my thing. Where do I start? Stop. That's the first place you start. You stop doing the bad things you're doing. Once you stop doing the bad things you're doing, all you have to do at that point is take care of the things that you created. You're no longer creating different things that's going to bury you further in the ground. Stop. If you're eating out too much, stop. If you're buying too many toys, if you feel that your credit card is always getting maxed out, stop. Just stop the behavior. Once you stop, the storm stops. And then you can just take care of everything you need to take care of. So, what I'm trying to ask you guys is, if you're going through a storm right now, if this is you that I'm talking to, let us hear about it. Just vent your feelings. There may be somebody here that may have been through what you've been through and may help you. Or do you feel that 
you're doing, you have a great financial success. Hey, share the story. We all could use it. What are you doing? What are the steps that you're doing to make sure that your financial life is in, in, in tech, uh, intact? Because there are some people who don't have problems with finance. And I know that some of you guys would think that has to be, that, that can't be true. No. There are some people who don't have fights over finance. You know, I no longer stress over finance because I made the right decisions and I made the right decisions a while ago to calm the storm. So that's, I just want to hear that. I want to hear from you guys today. Is this you? Are you okay? Everything's good? Do you, are you looking good right now for the future when it comes to finance? As far as retiring at a, a, a decent age and what's going on? Let's, let's let us know. So that's all I have, guys. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Let's keep learning. Let's keep growing, you know. And uh, that's all I have, guys. This is the first time coming to the channel. Please subscribe. Tell your friends about us. And until next time, signing off.